That's right. Reading involves more than just sounding out letters and words. It's a com complex process of decoding symbols and deriving meaning and information. When learning to read, children may come across difficulties like dyslexia or hyperlexia, which can have an impact on academic success. And joining us now with a look at some of these reading challenges and how they can be overcome is Danielle Mealy, Clinical Director of Diagnostic Assessment Program at Chesapeake Bay Academy. Danielle, thanks for joining us. We all know that uh, learning and reading are very important. Reading is the most important thing. It's the sort of the backbone of learning. What are some of the, the myths of reading disorders? Well, I think there are some myths associated with learning disabilities in general. The first one being that children with learning disabilities like dyslexia are lazy or they're unintelligent. And that's actually the complete opposite of what's true. What we know is that a child who has a persistent reading disorder uh, has it in the presence of appropriate education, um, you know, average or higher than average intelligence, and also pretty strong motivation. So we know there's something else going on that's inhibiting their ability to achieve uh, and to learn how to read. <clears throat> and one of the interesting things about dyslexia is we know that it has a neurological basis. So we're beginning to understand some of the things that are going on in the human brain that are contributing to the reading disorder. And it's so important to catch this early on. I know <clears throat> that you guys have plenty of tests. What are some of the things you look for? Um, well, typically what we'll look for are two, two major hallmarks, which is you know, if they are behind, so they're doing, they're performing at a rate that's lower than we would expect given their age or grade, and also a slow growth. So not just that there's a discrepancy between their ability and their achievement, but also that over time with instruction and intervention that they're still not making progress and gains. Um, specifically with dyslexia, the things that we look for, you know, there are different subtypes, so we look for things like you know, issues with phonological awareness and processing. We look for issues with um, orthographic processing, which basically means understanding the relationship between letters on a page and the sounds associated with them. Um, issues with rapid naming, uh, which is part of reading. When you're looking at the words on a page, you need to be able to quickly identify and produce those sounds and words. Uh, so, so those are some of the different things that we look for uh, when we're you know, looking to diagnose with dyslexia. So what you can tell uh, parents at home is to look at a very early age and try to pick up on some symptoms. Uh, and what, are, what should parents look for? Uh, like I said, any sort of issues with growth or progress, you know, as early as difficulties with being able to play rhyming games to manipulate sounds. So, you know, if your child has a hard time, if you say, you know, tell me what the word bat is without the T, something like that, and they, they can't do that for you. Blending sounds, learning the alphabet. Um, you know, all of those things. And then obviously, once a child starts to read, if they have issues, uh, and with spelling. Spelling right. is really another big part of dyslexia, and people sometimes don't realize that because you have to break apart the sounds and analyze them. It's a very complex task. So early detection is the key to, to catching it. Ca uh, CBA Cafe will be hosting a community seminar on neuropsychology of a reading disorder on October 24th at Central Library in v Virginia Beach. See the website for details. For more information, check out their academic blog, School of Thought, or give them a call. Visit them online, Chesapeake Bay Academy, 757-497-6200, or visit them online, cba-virginia.org. Daniel Mele, thank you so much for joining us this Thanks morning. Good information. Me. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.